Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um, okay. My name is Jay. What is your yeah. name? My name is Young. Young. Yeah. Um, okay. so, the, sorry. The the is there a TV playing in the background? No. Uh, what's okay. that? Okay. Never mind. Um. Okay. So where are you from? You I'm in Vietnam. I uh, I'm Vietnamese. Okay, you're you know Vietnam, Vietnam, right? Yes, yes, I've heard of Vietnam before. Um, yes. And why do you want to learn English? Um, I learn English to uh, improve myself, and uh, it's very important for my career. Okay. Yeah. What What is your career? What work do you are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to uh, be an uh, architect. But uh, yeah, if yeah, uh, I have a uh, good English, then I'll be able to. Uh, I work for the foreign uh, companies, yeah, uh, and that's that'll be great. Okay, uh, okay. So you're going to so work uh, as an architect, and you want to work in a foreign company, an international company. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, where do you come from? Uh, I'm I'm from South Africa, but I'm living in Malaysia right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, this is what I do. I mainly work online. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so I'm yeah. A high school student. I'm a high school student. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. So you're not studying yet. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, today I want to improve my uh, conversational skill. Okay. Yeah. What What grade are you in? You're in high school. So what grade? Oh, uh, I'm in high school. Y yes. High school. But yeah. what grade in high school? What? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, on the second year. I uh, okay. yeah okay. So uh, let's talk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So second year. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what year that is for for Western cultures because we we just have numbers all the way up. It's not second year of high school. It's like eighth grade in and then you're in high school, but it's your uh, yeah. eighth grade. Um, I'm in eleventh uh, grade. Oh, eleventh grade. Okay. Oh, right. So you would have middle school as well. If primary school, middle school, high school, we don't have those three. We just have primary school and and high school. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're in grade eleven. Then you've got one more year after grade eleven, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you've got a big exam to get you into university, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, that reason too. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you something, okay? Yes, okay. Um, uh, have you uh, ever been? Uh, have you ever procrastinate? Procrastinate? Yeah, of course. I think everyone's procrastinated at least once. Um, yeah. Why do you ask? Yeah, I'm a real procrastinator, <laughs> and uh, I want to uh, find some advice on how to uh, stop being a uh, procrastinator. Okay, that, that's quite a good question, but it's a difficult question to answer. I think the best thing for procrastination or for people who procrastinate is a schedule, a routine. Um, and and it takes it takes a long time. I mean, for me especially, it took quite a few years before I was mature enough that I was okay with not procrastinating. I had a schedule or something that I could tell myself, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to focus. Um, I think that a schedule is the best thing, a routine, where you're saying, okay, I need to work this amount, and then I have this amount for anything else, for playing games, for watching TV, for listening to music. You give yourself that, and that's the reward. You're not saying you can't do anything every day, you can't do whatever you want, but you are saying that you need to do other things, you need to do those things first, and then, yes, you can do whatever you want afterwards. Um, but it's, yeah. I think, I think what's the real, yes. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, keep, keep yeah. going. Yeah. So, the, right. so one of the, the biggest problems with procrastinating is you need, you need motivation. You need a reason to carry on doing what you are procrastinating with. Um, 
but also thinking about why you're procrastinating is a very good thing to do. So for some people, for, for me, when I'm procrastinating on certain things, if I think about why I'm procrastinating and dealing with those problems, that is much better than just saying, okay, I need to work, just go to work, just go get work done, just do it now. Because then you're pressuring yourself, you're saying, okay, no, just do it, just do it, doesn't matter, just do it. Um, instead of thinking about like, why am I procrastinating? So for some of the things that I've procrastinated yeah. with, it's been drawing and stuff like that. And when I procrastinate with drawing, the reason is I'm scared of making a bad drawing. So what I need to do is I need to talk yeah. to myself. I need to listen, uh, say to myself, no, it's okay. The drawing might be bad, but if you do the drawing, that's better. If you actually get the drawing done, then you have something yeah. there. Um, if you're sitting here not drawing, then nothing's happening and you're not, you know, moving forward. Um, so instead of, I think, I think sometimes when you procrastinate, when you're um, saying, no, no, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, you're not, um, <laughs> sorry, the, the other noise in the background is getting, is, uh, getting distracting. Um, uh, oh, uh, so, uh, like, uh, every day when I get to do something, before, uh, it's like, uh, when, uh, I, uh, I have a to-do list, so, uh, I, uh, do everything in that list, but, uh, whenever I, whenever I, uh, do uh, one of them, I, uh, reward myself by uh, going on YouTube, uh, watching some videos, yeah, like that. But uh, when uh, I start watching it, I spend like two or three hours uh, of my day uh, doing that. Yeah, I feel yeah. very guilty for that. So uh, I don't know how to uh, stop this. But, okay, so yeah. um, let me ask this. How um, after you've watched YouTube for two hours, how do you feel? Do you feel not thinking about the procrastinating, not thinking about the work you need to do? How do you feel about the two hours on YouTube? Just that, just that part. Yeah, I feel uh, it's a waste of uh, it's a way amount of time. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't give me anything at all. I uh, watch, I watch like uh, animation videos yes yes yes, yes. Uh, do you know anime uh, uh, animation and uh, i doesn't get get anything at all from that uh, so i feel it's a waste time it's a waste amount of time so i yeah, i hate that i don't want to I, yes i get what you're saying yes exactly so that is that is what i was asking that's the answer i was asking for really um because sometimes when I'm procrastinating as well, so after I'm done with work, um, what I usually do is I go down, I go to the gym, exercise, come back up. Um, but where I'm staying, the gym closes at midnight and I finish work at 11 p.m. So there's an hour. If I go down right after work, I can do a bit of exercise and come up before midnight, like 15 minutes before midnight, have a shower and then midnight is there. Um, but sometimes when I'm done working, I go onto YouTube and I'm watching things and then it's quarter past 11. And now if I go down, I'm not going to be able to finish my workout because it's a little bit too late. So I know that like not just looking at YouTube, that's a waste of time. I know that I'm also messing with another schedule that's helping me in the long run. Um, but yeah, I was asking because sometimes when I watch YouTube, even when I don't have something to do, even on the days where I'm not going down to the gym, once I'm done, once I get out of it, once I realize, okay, I'm done with YouTube now, I do feel I've wasted time. That was useless. I didn't learn anything. There wasn't a video that really interested me. Um, and it's really just about realizing when you're wasting your own time. Where you have to you have to get to a point where you're yeah. you're busy watching a YouTube video and you're like, I don't care about this anymore, and you close it, and then you do something else, you find something else, you find another thing that you enjoy doing. Um, what are some of your hobbies? Yeah, I have a lot of hobbies. I like reading. I like uh, 
uh, playing sports. Uh, I like watching movies okay. and uh, many more. So, uh, uh, my hobbies are, are hobbies? drawing, writing, and carving. So, making sculptures out of wood. Um, okay, yeah. So, the reason I ask you that is because having a hobby is very, very helpful for the whole situation. For the whole idea of um, not procrastinating, doing something that means something. So, like you said, when you watch YouTube, you feel like you've wasted time. So, even if you procrastinate with something that's useful and worthwhile, then it's it's better. It's not as procrastination-y. Like YouTube is definitely like the height of procrastination. You're not actually learning anything. You're just zoning out and just watching a flashing screen most of the time. Um, if you at least substitute it with reading or doing something like that, then you're sort of you know moving towards a better thing. Um, what are the things you're procrastinating on? So what things are you do you need to do that you aren't doing because of procrastination? Yeah, I think uh, uh, you uh, you mean uh, the things that I uh, I stopped doing yes. to uh, procrastinate. Uh, yeah, uh, I uh, I stop. Uh, is uh, learning. Uh, Sorry, what did you say? Learn. Learning. Yeah, most of my uh, most of the time of my day, I uh, spend them on learning. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. So, um, when you say most of the time you spend learning, do you mean like homework and and studying school subjects? Yeah. Homework and uh, everything in the life I uh, want to know, uh, like right. fixing something, gaining skills, or, basically. Uh, yeah everything I need for my career mm -hmm. and my life. I learn them all. And uh, sometimes uh, I uh, really want to help my parents with their work, but uh, they uh, they tell me to keep learning. They don't have, uh, they tell me not to worry about the uh, uh, financial of the finance of the family. I just keep learning everything you uh, you see or you want to learn. Yeah, so uh, most of my time I... Uh, okay, and that's the thing you're procrastinating on, learning, right? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, I remember the other thing I was trying to say, uh, because it's quiet now, that's probably why. <laughs> um, when you're procrastinating yeah. and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, you're also putting pressure on your future self. You're making it worse for yourself in the long oh. run. Because you're saying, no, I'll, I'll do it later. And then later on, you're going to be like, oh, my word, now I need to do it more than I needed to do it before. Um, and that makes it worse as well. And there, again, it's about realizing that if I don't do it now, I'll feel worse about it later on. So a lot of the like solutions for procrastinating is understanding yourself, understanding what you're thinking, why you're thinking these things. and thinking of it in a different way, changing the way you're thinking about it. So you're, you're procrastinating on learning. Uh, why do you procrastinate with learning? Do you not like learning? Do you, do you find it boring? Um, no, when uh, I usually uh, finish my, uh, all my homework or my, uh, my learning, and then I uh, stop, doing for, stop uh, learning for a while, to relax okay. and do something else, but uh, uh, then I stuck with uh, YouTube or uh, Facebook and yeah. That, okay, that's okay, 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 um, okay. Okay, so then I think I think for your break, for your little, you know, you've been learning. Now I need a reward. Now I need to relax for a little bit so that I can get back to learning in a bit, and don't overwhelm yourself. I think you need to change what that break is because YouTube is two hours. Oh. Like you said, it, it's overwhelming. It's a short video. Oh. Look, it's five minutes. I'll watch it now. Oh, it's 10 minutes. I'll watch this one. Oh, I just finished that. And there's a seven minute one. That's nothing. Come on. And then that adds up. Um, Facebook, oh my gosh, like Facebook is just a rabbit hole. You just, you just dive in and you, <laughs> there's so much more to read about and learn yeah. about different people and, 
things that aren't going to help you, but you're still going to read most of it, you know. So if you change what you're looking at, what you're finding, what websites you're going to, whatever, you can sort of limit it more. Um, for example, yeah. if you go on Netflix or, you know, if you watch a TV show, just a TV show, then you can say, okay, 30 minutes, that's quite a bit of time, but I'll just use, I'll just watch one. And then once you've reached the end of it, you are kind of relaxed and you already think, okay, wait, this has been 30 minutes. I could do another one, but I'm fine with not watching another one. Even if the TV show is an hour long, then yeah. it's at least half an hour and it's not going to keep happening. It's not YouTube. It's not going to suck you in each time. It's a TV show. You watch one hour of it, yeah. one episode, and then you go back to work and do your other thing. Um, what also might help is finding out what you like about the work. Looking at what you're doing, looking uh, at the stuff you're learning and the stuff you're studying and saying, why do I like this? Why do I want to do this? What is interesting yeah. about this? Giving it more, uh, giving yourself more motivation to actually do it. Looking at it and seeing like, wow, this is very interesting. I would like to learn about it. And taking the pressure off. Because it, a big thing of procrastinating yeah. is that you have a lot of pressure, maybe internal, maybe external, about the work that you want to do or need to do. And you're sitting there like, I need to get to work. I need to get to work. I need to get to work. And your brain is saying, okay, calm down. We'll take a little break and then you can get to work because right now you're stressed. And then you take a two-hour break and then you come back and you're more stressed because you haven't been thinking about it in sort of the right way. Yeah. yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of internal oh. mental work to change it, but there are small things you can do to help it along. Yeah. So um, you said that uh, the uh, so do you find math or physics? I find boring? math and physics very very interesting. Look, I don't know why, but I find all subjects very interesting. Any type of learning thing is very interesting to me i think um i mean i don't like sports but even learning about sports can be very interesting um so which subjects do you find so, boring maths and physics yeah they are the one so uh sometimes when i, I keep learning math or physics they are uh uh, of course, very important for my career. Yeah. Well, architecture, right? Yeah, math, yes, but, but I don't know uh, about physics. Yeah, but, yeah. I, um, I, uh, I try myself, uh, I try very hard on them. And uh, yeah, I don't find any motivation. I don't find any uh, interest in it. But uh, I always finish my uh, homework, always do all the, uh, all the things. But uh, I don't find any motivation in it. And I just wanted to uh, mm -hmm, finish mm -hmm, fast. Mm -hmm. So okay. So yeah, for that, physics, I'm not sure of anything that no, can help. No, no. I don't know much about physics. I find physics interesting in the idea of it. In the idea of you learn how things interact with each other, and that's quite interesting. Okay, this reacts to that. Okay, sure, it might seem boring in the way you write it or the way you read about it, but the idea behind it is very interesting. I don't know how to help with that to make that a bit more interesting. But with mathematics, there are a lot of games that kind of make it interesting. I don't know if this is going to help you because like I said, I find maths interesting. I love maths, yeah. But there, there is a game called, I don't know if it's called 24, um, but it's, it's probably called something like 24. And what you do is you get four numbers and you can times uh, you can multiply divide subtract or add them together in any way but you have to get 24. you have to try and get 24 and yeah. you can do this with any set of four numbers there's almost always a way i don't know of any combination yeah. that hasn't given an answer but it's a good way to make you know mathematics interesting because you're making it more of a game and when you get to 24 when you figure it out it's like yes i did that I figured it out. So maybe yeah. maybe that will translate to so, uh, mathematics homework. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, the time yes, is, yes, up, yes. is up. So uh, it was a uh, nice conversation. Goodbye. It was so, very nice goodbye. meeting you, and I hope that helped. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.